What's up guys, Steve Cook here from fitnessculture.com. I am in sunny Sydney, Australia, and today I'm gonna go over with you my favorite exercises to target one of the most talked about or questioned body parts of the leg. So I always get this question, Steve, how do I get a bigger teardrop muscle, also known as the vastus medialis? So your vastus medialis is just above your knee and just on the inside there. So it's that teardrop muscle that bodybuilders love to have, but it's a really hard one to get. It's really hard to train just this area. Today we're gonna to be looking at it from a bodybuilder standpoint, how to develop that, but it's also good practice because it's gonna promote a healthy knee. There are three things that we really wanna concentrate on when we're talking about the vastus medialis. The first is our toe position. So our toe position is gonna come into play whether it's a squat or leg press or leg extension. The second thing is, is gonna be really our center of gravity. And that has to do with our toes, but it also has to deal with our heels and then the tracking of our knees over our toes. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is overloading the muscle at the bottom of the movement. So you're gonna see a lot of deep, deep squatting along with one and a quarter movements because that is where we're, we're really overloading and we're activating the most VMO. So a lot of people out there, you know, they don't, they're really careful when they do squats. They want big numbers. So they really concentrate on hitting 90 degrees. If you want to develop glutes, and obviously we want to do that as well, but when we start talking about the VMO, we're gonna get deep. We're gonna get nice and low on things. That, that, that should be one thing right away we, we look at doing. When we couple that in with our, our toe placement and our knees over the toes, you're gonna to notice that our heels wanna start coming up. And that is why we're gonna bring in the slant board into play on things. Doing this is going to allow us to continue to push through the, the heels on our squat movements, but also it's gonna keep our center of gravity upright. So if I'm here and my toes start coming up, what happens? My chest falls over my knee, I become off balance. So doing things on a slant board, it allows us maximal contraction of the VMO, getting nice and low, chest is nice and tall, and as we come up, we're pushing through the heels, coming up just shy of locking out. I don't wanna be there, I wanna be here. I wanna do four sets of this exercise after your warmups, and we're really shooting for that 10 to 15 rep range. As I get you know, into my sets, I might start at 14, 12, 10, and I try to stay at 10 for these. You know, I, my, my goal here isn't to load it up with weight. You can obviously see we don't have a ton of weight on there, but it's all about that control as we go down, and I definitely feel it all over. Next exercise, I'm gonna be showing you three different variations of it, but basically, it's a single leg squat, or in this case, a single leg step up. We're gonna be setting up the leg we're working, knee's gonna be tracking over the toe, we're gonna press up, and then with our off leg, I'm just gonna keep it straight, go down until I touch, and then back up. I never wanna be pressing off with this leg here. This leg is just hanging out, go down, touch, come up. This will eventually graduate to a pistol squat. So if you have it there, we're gonna be moving over to a taller box, and from here, we're just gonna be continuing on our single leg squat on this. My knee is well over my toe there. Keep your hands out here. Don't wanna use any weight yet. Trying for at least eight reps. Press up, keeping that knee and toe in the same line. And from there, you can graduate to using a weight. I don't need to do that right now. My legs are tired enough that using body weight on this is just fine, but again, this will translate into if you ever start doing single leg squats, single leg pistol squats. Woo! My flexibility and the fact that I'm a little bit fatigued in the legs right now. Pistol squats are a no. Next up in our VMO training is gonna be a leg press. Typically, we're just gonna be working our legs, doing a standard leg press. Our feet are gonna be in the middle. We're just gonna drop those to the bottom. You can see my toes are actually elevated on here as well. Nice and slow, down all the way. Up a quarter, back down, 
all the way up. We got four sets, shooting for eight reps of one and a quarter. So it's a lot of time under tension, a lot of maximizing the load at the bottom of the movement. Next up, we're back to a single leg exercise, a Bulgarian split squat. What we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna have dumbbells. You can also do these with a, uh, with a barbell on your back. I like doing them with dumbbells. We're gonna have back leg on the bench. So that rear leg elevated as we go down. Once again, you see that knee tracking over all the way down, get depth, and then press back up. Keeping that knee and toe in line, I don't want it caving in or going out, but that knee is gonna come over top. So we're gonna be doing each leg individually, 10 to 12 reps. If you want, I've recently started doing these also on a slant board, nice and high. I'm gonna be doing them on there. If you can graduate towards this, feel free. We wanna make sure though that you've mastered the basic movement first. The final movement for our VMO training is gonna be a leg extension. And I know leg extension works primarily your whole leg. Extended, down a quarter, back extended, all the way down to get a nice stretch in there. Biggest thing is, is instead of just keeping our toes straight, we're gonna go slightly pointed out there. And you can just feel it. You just point your toe and go here, you get a better contraction in the VMO. Let's give you our last thing here, a little bit higher rep range. Again, we get the one and a quarter rep, but we're gonna do 10 total. So it's really almost like 20 reps. And then again, you can do this together or single leg, especially if you have one leg that's lagging a little bit. I'd recommend doing an isolation and really focusing on doing the same number of sets and reps on each leg, but only going as, as heavy as that smaller or weaker leg or less defined leg um, you know, can handle. And that leg might be less defined for genetic reasons or, you know, Let's pretend that you know, you're always looking at one leg. I tend to do that with my arms. I always tend to look in the, in the mirror at my left arm. It's like, hey man, switch it up. Look at your other leg. Focus on that other leg. It's hard when you talk about mind-muscle connection with two VMOs. Where's your mind connecting with?